William Arons, did I get the making sure I hit the right? Didn't skip anybody here. Yeah. Uh, William Arons, thank you for the super chat. He says, what about Jephthah sacrificing his daughter, God telling Abraham to sacrifice Isaac, and God drowning all humans except for Noah and his family? That's literally the question. Okay, so let me take Yiftach, your first one. So this comes up a lot, and I'm not going to say I don't know why it does, but I, I, it's important. I, I say this to you, the viewers. I mean, you're watching this. You're not watching I Love Lucy. I mean, that means you're interested in religion in some reason, right? Well, I always say to you, like, read it for yourself, because one of the things I almost never do is quote a scholar, unless there's some point here, but I'm never doing that for a point of authority. The book of Judges contains events that are disasters over, that occurred over the course of a span of many centuries. During the period of the Judges, Judges doesn't mean a judge, but that was a, a very loose confederacy, okay? The point of the book of Judges is that we need to get to a king because everyone's doing whatever they want to do and no one is, we don't have a unified power and that's where Samuel begins. So Samuel takes off from that. The story of Yiftach, who was a general, not liked at all, but he was a brilliant uh, uh, military giant. He was just brilliant. And therefore, when the Jews got into trouble from our enemies, we wanted the Moshe Dayan. We wanted the, the smartest, you know, the smartest kid, on, the guy who really understood military strategy. We wanted to call him up and say, all right, no one really likes you, but we need you because you're the brilliant general. And he gets called up and he defeats the enemy. He does exactly what he's called up. And people didn't like him as he wasn't, in other, you know how people are geniuses in the laboratory but take them out and they're lunatics? So he, this was not the sharpest knife in the drawer. He, on his coming back from battle, or his chest is all inflated. He's all, he says, you know what? The first thing that comes out of my home, I mean, he's going home from battle. He's a hero. He's a war hero. The first thing that comes out, I'm going to offer as a sacrifice to God. Okay. What happens? His daughter walks out. And he decides that, well, you know, he loved her, but what choice do I have? And he, he doesn't really kill her, but he, she never enjoys intimacy. She's never married, and she's put in a remote place. Let's just say she's put to, to kill. The text reads that way. If you look carefully, it's that she dies a virgin. She, she, let's just say she's sacrificed. That was certainly his interest, so we'll, we'll keep it that way, okay? Who here failed? Everybody but his daughter. The point of the story is that don't do stuff like that. The whole point of the story is Yiftach was an idiot. And not only was he an idiot, you needed enablers. You needed other idiots to make that idiot idea come to light. What had happened? What happened to the Jewish leadership? Well, if Yiftach would have only come to the priests, to the judges at the time, and go, Look, I, I made this vow coming back from battle, and it turns out it's my kid. It's my kid, Rebecca. She's really cute, you know, and I just, like, put new braces on her mouth. So, like, she's got a I, – I don't, I don't want to do this to her. They would have told you don't have to. That's, it was a ridiculous vow. They would nullify it in a second, as the Talmud proclaims. And what happens if a pig would have come out of his house? Would he then offer that as an offering to God? So it's a story about failure. It's not a story about success. It's not a – nothing in the book of Judges, none of these events are, are there to tell you this is how you should behave. On the contrary, the prophets were written for a number of reasons, but a main theme in the prophets, the prophetic part of the Hebrew Bible, is to convey every stupid mistake that the Jews made and don't do anything like that. So that's the story of Yiftach. It's like everything fails and therefore – Look at the last passage of the book of Judges. Everyone was doing what was right in their own eyes because you had this loose, loose confederacy. We need a united uh, monarchy with a king, and that's what's going to happen in Samuel. Judges is, a, is, the, is the introduction to Samuel. The reason why the book of Judges is there, the primary purpose of the book of Judges is to convey why you need a king, and it's just not good enough to have a loose confederacy under a judge not a judge as in a court, but a judge means like a kind of leader, let's say, like kind of a governor, we'll just use that term, which, who's 
powers were very, very limited. And it ends, and the book of Judges ends with a horrible civil war where an entire, almost an entire tribe is wiped out. The tribe of Benjamin was almost um, completely destroyed in a civil war. I mean, that's how, that's like, so it's not telling you civil wars are good. So therefore, no, you, God said, don't, don't harm the kid. And there's a ram in the thicket and bring that instead. I don't want you to do that. So no, human, human sacrifices are a very bad idea. You can't bring a story, an event in the book of Judges as a proof that human sacrifice is sanctioned. The whole reason it's there is to tell you that, no, it's the mother load of bad ideas. Great question. Adon Ola, Asher Malach, Beterem Kol, Yetzir Nivrach.